Changes are coming to the Struthers Bowling Alley, famous for a scene in the 1970s movie The Deer Hunter, which won the Best Picture Oscar. What was then called the Bowladrome will soon be State Street Billiards and Bowling. Renovating history is new at 10. The pool tables are ready to go, the bowling lanes are as shiny new, and the bar is up and running. But it's the history of what's now called State Street Billiards and Bowling that most people want to talk about. And they actually bowled here on lane 7 and 8, Robert De Niro and Merrill Streep did in, I believe it's 1976. And it rode off of that for quite some time. Struthers native Dallas Bigley now owns what was known as the Bowladrome, where part of the Deer Hunter movie was filmed. The Bowladrome was around since at least 1946, when this picture was taken along State Street. Now these tables are made out of the original bowling lanes that were in here. Bigley has tried to save some of the history while at the same time modernizing. The previous owner kept all the deer hunter pictures, but you will see the Bulladrum name on some tables and the wall. Half of the eight lanes were removed and replaced with billiard tables, which also have a Struthers connection. Now the tables are from Southbridge Billiards, um, which was located down the street that closed and uh, it was a big part of Struthers. Dallas Bigley's put fifty to sixty thousand dollars into renovations and still plans to build an outdoor patio. He was born, raised, and still lives in Struthers and says if the Bulladrome had been in Boardman, he would not have been interested. I want to revive downtown. When Southbridge Billiards was right down the street, downtown was a lot brighter. And since they've gone, they've left a void and they've left people in the community saying we want a pool hall, we want somewhere to go other than just to eat and drink. And that's what I'm trying to provide. There will be an open house tomorrow from noon to four at State Street Billiards and Bowling in Struthers. Everything, including billiards and bowling, is free. The plan is to be fully operational in 30 days, and it will be open seven days a week.